Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the presentation, very brief uh, presentation of Kansai Engineering. For more information, you uh, might want to check out our homepage under www.kansai.eu or send us a mail uh, under the address of info at kansai.eu. All the other information you will find on our homepage. The term of Kansai Engineering has been coined in Japan and uh, the word Kansai uh, originates from the Japanese language. It is in fact uh, quite difficult to, un to translate it. You, you know, the correct translation would uh, be sensuality. The problem is uh, this in fact does not cover the whole content of what Kansai Engineering is. So I would like to briefly introduce you to the term of Kansai. So if you see these two parts of art or pieces of art, one is called Takete, the other one is called Lumumba. And um, I have asked many, many students and uh, asked them which one is Takete, which one is Lumumba, and uh, I would say almost 100% say this way. Well, Maybe you who are listening now, you agree or disagree. But if you agree, then the next question would be, why is that? And that's much, diff much more difficult to answer because um, usually people are quite sure about this must be the right terms, but uh, it's very difficult to say what is it. So Kansai engineering, in fact, is a methodology which can capture this psychological feeling and translate it into a design solution. Um, the example was, of course, uh, very simple chosen, but you could imagine it, is, um, it would be a product, something like a mobile telephone. How sporty is it? How classic is it? And so on. So what Kansai Engineering can do is um, capturing this Kansai, putting that into some type of computer system, we uh, at Linköping University have developed a system called KSoft, and the system will give you some type of information on how the product should look like. On the other hand, if you have a product, if you have a prototype or mock-up, you can uh, start by identifying the different properties, which are the most important properties, put it into the database, and the computer system will give you some type of prediction model on how the, mo how the product is probably perceived. I said probably perceived. Uh, in fact, there's a lot of statistics in there, so uh, um, the heavy statistics make it necessary to use some type of uh, um, computer model or computer system. How does Kansai engineer work in principle? Well, you have a sensory input on one side, and uh, when you get an in sensory input, which means it could be the touch, the smell, often uh, some type of visual impression. And from that, uh, your brain is constructing some type of, can't say, some type of feeling, some type which leads to affection, emotion, and so on. A uh, little bit later, I mean, tens of seconds or something like that, um, there's a chisei created. Chisei is uh, equivalent to cognition. So uh, we'll be able to understand and argue why things are as they are. But in fact, if you're talking about um, consumer products, consumers often decide based on their first impression. They can't say. And if you remember the, um, the two pieces of art, it's very difficult to say why uh, one was Lumumba, the other one was the Takete. And in case of, for example, two mobile phones, it's very difficult to say why do I prefer this or this, because it's quite uh, subjective, uh, very, um, uh, very uh, based on um, the emotional feeling. And um, what we can do is, if we use Kansai Engineering, we give people a stimuli. Say, ask them, please, would you evaluate this car? Would you taste this piece of chocolate or uh, use this mobile phone? And give us immediately your response. And you will get out the Kansai and the Chisei. So the emotional response, 
what people think emotionally about that and what they think cognitively about that. And these things do not necessarily are alike. So uh, if you're thinking about or if you want to try, if you want to design a product in a way that is, is uh, emotionally attractive to people, you have to look on the Kansai. And Kansai engineering works in this way that we start by defi de defining a domain. The domain then is described from two different angles. On the left hand side you see the semantic space. So if the domain is for example mobile phones for users between 19 and 25 years, um, the semantic domain or the semantic space could be a collection of words some saying cool, uh, elegant, nice, um, and, and so on. On the other hand, uh, you describe the space of application. You see it on the right side here, uh, which means that um, you identify which are the pro properties which really are important for the uh, for the users. And this is something which is not not new. I mean, a lot of marketing uh, methods base on that. But what is unique, what can say engineering or effective engineering in general can do or try to do, is to make a synthesis of that. So after validation, you get a mathematical model, often a mathematical model, which means that, that um, for uh, the can say word cool or the impression cool, you can identify which are the properties which are important and in which uh, direction they should look like or how they should be designed. So if you have a look on Japanese companies, as I said, Kansai Engineering is originally a Japanese method, you can see that many big companies have used that. One of the first one was Masta and uh, they produced uh, or they designed the uh, uh, Master MX-5, the Miata Sports Coupe, in 1986, I think. They were one of the first users of it, and I mean, the Master Sports Coupe is nowadays the most sold sports coupe in the world. In Sweden, um, we uh, have been working with different companies uh, in, in Sweden here. Um, you can see on uh, in the middle here, uh, yogurt bottle where um, we evaluated the effective impact on the users. Um, the the uh, original task was to develop a bottle which uh, should express the uh, properties of the its of the ingredients or of the interior, which means it's very healthy and satisfying your hunger. But how do you express that in the bottle? So uh, we started by uh, um, defining what is what are the important factors of the bottle, and we could see well apparently the the form of the bottle, but then also the um, um, the uh, presentation on it. And uh, what we came up with this bottle was uh, mostly this form of bottle was mostly uh, presenting. Hung, um, the the hung is satisfying because it looks quite bulky. It looks quite much interior, uh, much uh, ingredients or much stuff in it. But uh, and the uh, the presentation on it here, the circles uh, do give an impression on um, healthiness. So if you would have put some, say, berries or a cow or something like that, people would have perceived that as less healthy, would have connected that with, with sugary and so on. But uh, this is op uh, actually the optimal um, combination. On the left-hand side here, up there, you can see a computer model of a flat. And uh, what we have done here is that we um, decided or that we decided how can we present a flat which not yet is built to a buyer because if you just have a drawing it's uh, very difficult for the buyer to understand uh, whether the flat is suitable for her or his um, way uh, lifestyle for example do i like the morning light in my li in my living room in the morning do i do i like that don't i like that and that's very difficult to uh, to determine from a plan drawing so uh, what we did, we asked people 
to evaluate the impression they get from a plan drawing, the impression they got from a computer, a 3D computer model, which uh, you, they could see on the screen, and um, uh, an, uh, um, a helmet, a virtual reality helmet. And then we ask them to go actually in the flat we, we, had, prepar uh, we had prepared for them and uh, ask them the same questions. Then we could see that uh, which of the methods was the most suitable. And we could see that um, the presentation on the computer screen is the most effective if you want to, um, if you want to show uh, things like uh, spacey and uh, practical. But if you want to... Uh, show feelings or com communicate feelings like homey or cozy, uh, the helmet, the VR helmet, is the most effective way to present that. On the right-hand side up here, you can see um, uh, laminate flooring. Laminate flooring is um, a floor which is uh, based on wood material, but instead of real wood, they use uh, wood chips and um, put there some type of paper layer, or very thin layer, which imitates some type of uh, wood structure. And the company producing that floor, uh, they experience that many users do actually perceive this type of floor as, yeah, how to say it, fake floor. This means that uh, they say, well, it's not the real stuff, it's uh, a wooden floor, wooden parquet floor would be the best. In fact, if you look at it objectively, uh, the uh, laminate flooring is much harder, it does not bleach, it has um, exceptional physical properties. So it's much better than wooden floor, but um, it apparently does not convey the uh, feeling or the impression people have on flooring. So uh, we could help them how to choose the floor, what were the factors which uh, gave them the uh, uh, gave people the impression of fake floor or bad floor or bad impression, and uh, they could use this information in the product in the product development method. We have. Uh, Another big company we have been working with, BT Industries. Nowadays they are part of Toyota. Uh, well, they have been part of Toyota then since um, uh, since 2000. Um, their name is nowadays BT Toyota. And uh, what we have done here that uh, we have been helping them with uh, the development of a platform for low lifter trucks. You have to imagine on the left hand side here, this is a part of the low lifter truck. Here on the left hand side there will be the forks and they have a load on the pallet and then you can transport the whole thing in a horizontal direction. Mm -hmm. And um, in order to make that quicker and more, more suitable, more convenient for people, uh, for the drivers, uh, the drivers can fold down the platform and um, drive uh, through the warehouse. We could see that uh, in many cases um, people were actually injured at their heels because uh, we could see that the drivers were actually standing outside this platform with their heels. So the first reaction was, okay, we have to, to elongate the platform. We did that in two steps, but still the drivers were doing the same thing. So apparently not the length of the platform was the problem. So what was it? We could see, well, if the platform is hinged here. You could see that in case there would be some type of jerk, the driver would, this platform would do some type of circular movement and the driver would actually tip forward, which was quite inconvenient. So the driver stand as, as long back as possible. So with counter engineering, we uh, then tried to improve that and um, we said, okay, the platform will be hinged here still, but the uh, damping and uh, spring will be hinged a little bit length longer in here. So the circle move, circular movement will be smaller. And um, then we use Kansai engineering for determining the stiffness of the spring and the, uh, uh, the stiffness of the damping system. Uh, this 
this uh, work has been patented by the company. Uh, another thing was uh, the uh, reach track from BT Industries, you can see down here. What uh, we could see that uh, drivers in many cases uh, consider this track as more narrow than the comp uh, competitors' tracks. In fact, if you measured the size of the com driver's compartment, we could see that it was in fact bigger than the competitors' products. So, uh, from the beginning, there was no rational reason to believe that this would be perceived narrower. And when we used Kansai Engineering, we could see it was, in many cases, perceived narrower because of uh, the lines here. They were quite high. You had a very wide pillar here. But then also, on the right-hand side, there was a very robust or yeah, a very robust console in front of you so when you got into the truck you could see that yeah that this this console was very close to your body which um, which uh, in many cases evoked the impression of narrow so um, the company redesigned the uh, the console and we uh, and we measured remeasured it when the new model was launched and we could see that it was now actually perceived bigger than the competitors' models, which was a great a great step forward for them. This was just a very very small very very rough thing to explain how to uh, how can say engineer works. If you're more interested, as I said please refer to our homepage or contact